Now, let's return to superfoods. Three weeks ago, we gave five pairs of twins some extra food. One twin had extra regular fruit and veg, the other had extra superfoods. We're trying to find out whether superfoods are better than ordinary foods. After the three weeks, we retested their blood. And once again, nutritionist Catherine Collins analyzed the results. In fact, there was chaos. The blood levels of vitamins and minerals in our twins seemed to vary almost randomly, irrespective of whether they were on superfoods or ordinary. In fact, most levels went down. Even vitamin C, which the superfoods had masses of. If you take foods that are particularly high in vitamin C, the body will use what it likes and then it won't use the rest. It just shows it only has a certain amount of benefit. The body says, had enough, thank you very much, don't need any more. I used to get really, really tired. And when I was on the superfoods, I didn't get that. I Did you not? To... All right. And it was really strange. Really, by our results, there's certainly no difference, hardly any difference yeah. at all. Chemical analysis of the superfoods can show they have higher levels of some nutrients, but it's their impact on us that is difficult to measure. Just because something is a superfood in a test tube does not translate, as these results show, into a superfood in us. Because a food may have eight times the antioxidant potential of another, it doesn't give us eight times the benefit. And I think this natural variation in blood results from the start to the finish, some going up, some going down, and all different between groups of twins, just shows that um, you know, we are what we eat, but our bodies dictate exactly how we deal with things. We can't use foods as a blunt instrument. Eat this, never get cancer. This is not going to work. What our trial showed conclusively is that proving scientifically whether foods deserve the word super or not is extremely difficult. But that doesn't stop food manufacturers using it. The Innocent Drinks Company claim their superfood smoothies contain antioxidants. It's a well-known scientific buzzword, but does it mean anything? The real problem the consumer has is they're being given these weasel words like antioxidants. I, as a nutritionist who's been studying the area, don't understand what it means, so the consumer has even less chance. Richard Reed's company turns over £100 million a year. But today, Prof Regan has brought some challenging research with him. This is a European um, uh, report and saying here human intervention studies have shown no consistent benefit of increased intake of dietary antioxidants in the prevention of human diseases. Where are the really large studies that, that actually sort of link antioxidant intake with improvement in heart disease? In terms of clinical studies, that, that's still new science that's coming out. The reality is mankind is at the very beginnings of its understandings of quite how and why fruit and veg is so good for you. That's the bit that we're really trying to un unwrap now. You'd have to agree with me that your marketing here suggests that we know it all and this is definitely proven. Oh, I think we constantly say we don't know it all, actually, perversely. What Where, we are saying, say though, is... Here? What we are saying is full of... It's got high-level antioxidants, which is just... That's just a statement of fact, and, it, and it's true. What we want to be doing is just getting as much fruit and veg, all the different types of varieties, all the different types of colours, in as many different ways to our diet as we possibly can. This product is going to naturally detox me. Mm. Do you want to make a comment about that? We were claiming that antioxidants helped to mop up the free radicals and they were detoxing the system in that way. Basically, one of the things you need if you've been maybe doing things the night before that you shouldn't have, having a bit too much to drink, your body is more prone to the, the effects of the free radicals. So the morning after is a great time to be having a drink that's packed full of these, the good guys, which are the antioxidants, to take on the, the free radicals that will be in the cigarette smoke or the alcohol that you had the night before. As a statement of fact, this fruit does contain antioxidants, but there is still no robust evidence that it's their antioxidant activity that's doing us good. As part of a balanced diet, foods known as superfoods should be highly nutritious, so they will go into Prof Regan's trolley. But the idea that any one particular food provides a miraculous super health is not backed up by science yet. So the label superfood must be discarded.